So guys, for the first method, you want to unplug and then plug back in your Xbox controller. See if that works. For the second method, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, make sure that your controller is plugged in. Now you want to click on your computer name, which will now highlight it. And now you want to click on action on the top and then click on scan for hardware changes. Hopefully you will be seeing Xbox peripherals. You want to expand this. You want to find your Xbox controller. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for your device installed. For the next method, you can right click on it again and then click on disable device and then click on yes. After you disable it, you can right click on it again and then click on enable device. For the next method, if you're trying to use Steam, then you wanna click on Steam in the top left and then click on settings. On the left hand side, you wanna click on controller and now once you're on this, you could try different settings right here. Just turn them on and off and then see if that works. For the last method, you wanna head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. Now once you update your computer, just do a simple restart. Come back into Windows and then hopefully this will not fix your problem.